Okay, this is my Let's Play. As you can see, it's on map making and political gerrymandering. Um, we'll start off with the first level. You just kind of, you go through, you choose your party. I chose Republican for this time, and you just go through uh, playing as a map maker. Which, as a map maker, you have different guidelines. Um, one of these is population equality. Each district has a, have to have the same number of voters. Also, you have to have contiguity. Um, it means it's got to have a continuous shape. You can't have any islands going through. Then you need compactness. Um, no jagged edges or uh, things that are going way out. Things like that. Um, as you'll see, you right now you're playing as all of your same party just to remap and show you how it really is to be the map maker. Uh, the redistricting, it happens after each U.S. Census, which happens the first year of each decade. There are times where they will do it in between if there's a lot of population movement. But other than that, it's not very prevalent in between. But you can see me going through, uh, and I'll speed this up and skip to the end later. But I'm just making sure that all the people are happy. You want all these congressional seats. I mean, you don't want any complaints because you want everybody to approve your bill. So, and you also want to have a majority for your people. You don't want Democrats winning the majority and then taking over that seat. And for you, that'd be bad since you are a Republican and it's your party. So, you've got to take into consideration a bunch of things like that. And you'll see little houses on the maps. Those pretty much just say that you can't take those people out of their districts or they will complain and if they complain then your bill won't pass and as a map maker you want to make sure you get it right the first time so everybody's happy and you don't have to go back and try redoing it but yeah these are just the basics of map making as you'll see and I'm showing you examples like that was an island that you can't do and so we're gonna probably skip ahead here to a uh, finished version in a little bit here. And right here is my finished. The check marks show that everybody's happy. Um, the only person that's not is number one, and I'm gonna finish up with him now that's all okay. And those are the basics of map making pretty much. Um, as this goes on, you see that all the populations are fine and all the people are happy. And I'm showing you a contigu or compactness. You can't have j things that are jotting out like that. And then we'll take this and get feedback on it in the House. And we got yays because all the Republicans want it because they get to keep their seats and the majorities. Democrats are mad, but they have the 36 nays. But as long as the Republicans hold the seat, then it'll pass. And the governor will also sign it because... He's Republican, as you'll see here. Goes through legislature. Republicans have the majority, so you get your map making approved. The governor, who's also Republican, since you had the majority again, will sign it. Because, again, he wants his uh, state legislature to be in power. And as long as your map making was correct for him, then the Republicans will stay in power. Then all the Democrats try to... Um, like go against your guidelines that you have to make it so you can't pass but and from what you'll see right here Republicans retain control of congressional seats and that just goes to show that map making had an effect on it you don't really get to see it here since it was just basic map making then we'll go on to level two okay level two you actually have two Republicans and two Democrats it's equal in the house for seats and you actually want to get rid of one of the Democrats, so Republicans will have the majority. Um, really what you're seeing is partisan gerrymandering. It's just redistricting so that your party has a majority, and so that voters will vote for your uh, representative. Um, the term comes from Massachusetts in 1812, from Elbert's Jerry. He made a uh, district that looked kind of like a salamander, so you get Jerry and Mander. Um, there are two basic techniques. It's cracking, which is spreading like-minded voters so that they don't really have a say when other people have the majority. 
and then packing. You take a bunch of Republicans and put them together, and then that way that they will overpower the Democrats in their voting. So that's how they uh, decide. And map makers use computer technology and voting behavior to kind of predict what, where to make the maps and how to get their party to uh, get the majority again. So that's how that goes about. As you can see, I'm going for the feedback, and since the Republicans have the majority, that's how the bill passes the House. That's the only reason. If Democrats had the majority, it wouldn't. And the governor signs it because the governor is Republican, and again, he wants to be able to pass bills that are for his, uh, rep like for the Republicans, so he's going to pass it because you get the majority as a Republican, so he's going to be happy with that. And then the courts are reviewing because everybody would put up a fight. And um, you'll see that everything is dismissed because I stayed in the guidelines. But, and gerrymandering still happens because of people wanting to win. Um, apparently our representatives care more about their party being in power and staying in power than what they do to help. Um, they want to get in, or to get their votes, so they pack crack, as you can see, they crack people and they're packing people in that way that they stay in power and get their kind of bills passed and everything that they want, when really that is not for the good of the people that they're supposed to be representing. They're supposed to be representing us with our votes, and our votes are being taken apart and not useful at all. So that's how they why they still do it um it's not ethical it takes away from what voting is supposed to do but they still do it and so and that's that and as you can see from this news title republicans take control which is exactly what the game shows that map makers want to do they want to have their party take control by redistricting again we know it's wrong but until our representatives put harsher rules on map makers for the census then it'll continue happening because they all want power and it won't end until bills are passed to stop it and then maybe the voters will actually have a say but thank you to the information source from the redistrictinggame.org go play it it's actually fun bye